Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to Academy's project session number four. In our last session, we saw how to create a lookup table in HBase and how to populate the data in lookup table. And apart from that, we performed some of the pre-processing steps on our raw data. So uh, I hope you guys remember that we ended somewhere here in data formatting.sh. So, uh, you know, finally we created the hive table name formatted input and loaded the pre-processed data. Okay. So I will show you this table formatted underscore input, how exactly it looked like. Okay. So this is the table. See guys, I did a simple select star from formatted underscore input and this table is present under project database. Okay. So this is the data that looks like we need to enrich this data. As you can see, some of the rows have null values. Okay. You see this and this and I hope you guys remember I discussed also why exactly uh, you know these uh, fields are null and what is the importance of this in our project okay if not you can go through the previous videos you will come to know why exactly it is important okay in today's session we will perform the data enrichment steps okay so let's begin data is there in HDFS lookup table is there in HBase. Now how we will enrich our data because some of the uh, fields are missing. We need to find, we need to uh, you know check our lookup table. If the data is available there, we need to perform some kind of join operation and enrich our data on which further analysis will be done. So for that we need to create a hive table that consists the data of HBase. Okay, so let's see what exactly this .sql file is. You see guys, we are creating external table. Okay, station geo map and then subscribed users and then song artist map. I hope you guys remember that the same table was present in HBase also as a lookup table. Okay, so what we are doing from the lookup table, we are getting the data into our hive, okay, using HBase storage handler. Okay, so you see here, I'll just show you in, in this particular step in populate lookup, we created three different lookup tables and we loaded the data. Now what we are doing, table of same name we are creating in hive as external tables. Okay, now once this is done, so let's go ahead and execute this particular file. I've copied, let's exit from the hive shell, clean it and then run this particular file. It will simply create the tables and get the data from HBase. Let's wait for some time. Make sure guys, you know, uh, your H master is up and running before you execute this. Otherwise, you know, your uh, execution will fail. So the first operation is okay, done. That means, that means station geo map is already created. So guys, we have successfully executed our create hive hbase lookup dot hql and now it's time to go and check our table. So when we go into the hive shell, we will use the project database and let's see how many tables are there. Okay, you see guys, song artist map song geo map and subscribed users so these three were the external tables that we created by running this hive script okay now let's see the content of any one okay so you, you remember we had just created the hive table external hive table we didn't load any data using load data local in path or load load data in path so what we did we created the external table and we connected it with hive lookup table Okay, so we will see the data of let's say station geo map. Okay, select 
star from station geo map. And yes, you see, the data is there in our hive external table. It's time to go back to our readme file. Now, once we have executed this hive script, it's time for the enrichment.sh. Okay, let's see the file. Okay, so initial four lines, I hope by now you guys very well know what it is and what it does. So next is running hive script. So what is the name of hive script? It is data enrichment.hql. Let's see the file. Okay, so here it is. So we are setting some, uh, you know, uh, the modes in Hive. After that, we are using the same project database and creating a table name, enriched data. So this table, so this table will, uh, you know, it will contain the data, okay, in the enriched format, okay. So here so in our pre-processing we did some kind of pre-processing now in our enrichment we need to remove these null values and all so earlier i showed you the table in which there were few null values now we will be looking up into the using the lookup table we will try to fill up those null values if not the data will uh, that particular record will be invalid okay so this is this step so this enriched data we are loading uh, okay again it is getting partitioned by batch id okay and storing as an oac file format now we are loading the data into this particular table from our formatted input the one which we created very earlier okay and you see we are performing some kind of join operation for the enrichment phase from station geo map on you know uh, this this particular table we are joining okay formatted input we are joining and we are enriching the data okay if it is null do this if it is null do that okay so that that particular thing is there and we are enriching the final table that is enriched data so let's move ahead after the hive script runs successfully Okay, now we are copying some uh, the valid and invalid records into the local file system and deleting the older valid file. So you will see this particular steps in the, uh, you know, the project requirements. So this is the post enrichment steps wherein we will be mo moving all the valid and invalid records to the local file system and then clean up after every seven days. So part of post enrichment step, it is done in that particular script file. Okay, guys, so let's run this script file and see what actually happens. So I've copied this back to our terminal and boom. in our hive uh, in our project database a new table will again get created named enriched data furthermore it will be uh, you know the complete valid records will be there okay the join operation is getting performed and once this HQL file gets executed and then furthermore it is the moving uh, of the valid and invalid records. So you see guys, you know, Hive operation is running. So it will take some time, do not worry. We will wait until and unless the complete script file successfully runs. And yes, one more thing guys, see the operation that uh, it is going to happen it is a heavy operation you see you know the left outer joints are uh, getting executed twice okay not only once twice so if you have a proper ram only then this particular uh, uh, you know dot hpl file will run successfully otherwise you will get some kind of error okay you will get some kind of memory out of uh, bound something some uh, memory issue will happen so make sure that you have proper ram 
okay otherwise this will not get executed so i have a 8 gb machine and then i have allocated around 3 to 4 gb to the vm so hopefully this will get executed successfully let's wait and see okay so this is done so what should happen guys so a table named enrich data should be there in our hive let's enter the shell and see okay use project show database oh, sorry show tables and it should be enriched data see guys the first table it is select star from enriched data you see this is the complete data that is available okay now some of the records were successfully um, you know enriched some were not successfully enriched so that is fine okay so those data will be in our valid and invalid record files in our local machine yeah i mean in our local file system so that is fine okay now so this is it and we have successfully enriched our data after this we will perform the complete analysis on our enriched data so thank you for joining today guys let's meet up again tomorrow and we will end up the session by analyzing our requirement. Thank you. Take care.